Welcome to The Terrible Take, a daily segment telling Steelers Nation what's on our mind. I'm Dave Bryan. The Pittsburgh Steelers traded away wide receiver Chase Claypool last week, and that move, combined with rookie wide receiver Calvin Austin III remaining on the reserve injured list the remainder of the season, now presents an excellent opportunity for wide receiver Steven Sims to show what he can do out of the slot position. He's been a guy that's made some plays when given an opportunity and when available, Steeders head coach Mike Tomlin said of Sims on Tuesday. He's electric with the ball in his hands. He flipped the field on us a few weeks ago in the kick game, so we're excited about giving him a continued exposure to see if that continues. While Sims certainly isn't new to the Steelers, the former undrafted free agent out of Kansas has only logged 25 offensive snaps since arriving in Pittsburgh as a practice squad addition ahead of the 2021 regular season getting underway. In fact, Sims has touched the football on offense all of five times as a member of the Steelers, and three of those touches were designed runs as a wide receiver. While the Steelers certainly haven't used Sims much of any on offense to date, we have gotten a chance to see him perform as a returner this season and with favorable results as well. Sims is not a stranger to playing in the slot, however, as he did quite a bit of that in his first two NFL seasons as a member of the Washington football team. In those two seasons in Washington, Sims caught 61 total passes for 575 yards and five touchdowns. By the way, 298 of those yards came after the catch, and that in and of itself should excite Steeler fans heading into Week 10. 44 of those 61 receptions that Sims had over two seasons with Washington came with him lined up in the slot. 32 of them came in more of the the middle-of-the-field portions as well. Prior to being traded, Claypool registered 24 receptions for 250 yards out of the slot for the Steelers. He only managed 74 yards after the catch on those 24 grabs, however. For the season, the Steelers have just 59 completed passes to players lined up in the slot. In short, there should be several slot targets in Sims' future moving forward into the team's final nine regular season games. A solid final nine games by Sims as a slot wide receiver could result in the Steelers not needing to spend a day one or day two selection in the 2023 NFL draft on another wide receiver. Why? Because Sims is scheduled to be a restricted free agent during the offseason, and thus that would make him very easy to retain at a very modest price. So, in closing, start paying close attention to Sims starting on Sunday against the Saints. He has an opportunity to show that he can still be a viable offensive weapon in the NFL and for perhaps even one more season with the Steelers as well. Be sure to follow us at SteelersDepot.com and check out episodes of The Terrible Take every day at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And check out The Terrible Podcast with myself and Alex Kazora every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.